Hi, I'm Max. I'm the bassist and tech guy, if you will, of Animalia. How is it? I'm Ben, drummer of Animalia. I'm Kieran, guitarist. And I'm Kira, lead singer, and we're Animalia. Obviously it's a bit different from, I've caught you here at Crofters Rights before, caught you in Bristol a number of times, a little bit different tonight though because one, you're headlining and two, it's part of a mini sort of UK tour or England tour uh, for the debut EP, Pressure Points. Yeah. How does that compare to when you've uh, gone around before? More pressure? Points? <laughs> yeah. Nice one. I, I think we're we've been really excited to do more shows, we took a little kind of, uh, kind of break to do other things, uh, we're doing a lot of kind of writing and stuff, um, so we wanted to come back and do a couple of days in a row, um, and it's a big challenge, put it that way, it's something that's quite daunting when you look at it for the first time ever, um, coming back to Bristol is something we wanted to do for a while as well, and hitting some cities, so that's always good. And the EP has pretty much anniversary, it's been out pretty much a month today. You guys must be dead chuffed with the, the reception <laughs> and in terms of like the reviews that I've seen, yeah. it's been, people have really taken it to heart very quickly, we've got some stellar reviews. Yeah, absolutely chuffed. It was, um, yeah, some of the right ups we've had for it. Made my day, walking through <laughs> Tesco's and just getting a notification and reading about it quickly and yeah, it's so, it's so nice to see. And oh, we were saying it is, uh, it's a fairly meaty one. There's five five singles on this EP, yeah. and pretty much each one of them could probably be I don't know if that's the plan, but could be a single within its own right. What's the what's the common sort of theme, or what's the common thread that runs through those five tracks, or is there not one? Are they five standalones? Uh, well, we we started just with kind of the idea of writing and seeing what we came up with. That's how we wrote our first couple of tracks. Um, but in the end, the EP kind of just ended up naturally covering like different types of relationships so kind of more personal relationships but also a general idea of people especially with the lockdown and things um how people interact with each other so um silver linings is the, the one we released as our first single and that has quite a um a heavy no one seems to look out for each other anymore kind of theme about it so we wanted to do something that wasn't just kind of the personal songs which is a bit more like um haywire and things um, but Silver Lining is the one we chose, had quite a kind of broad theme that we'd seen a lot more of since coming back after lockdown and things. People are a bit more um, offended easily of each other and not really willing to look out for each other, so I kind of wrote that into a whole song. Who's the, uh, who tends to be the main writer in the band? Is it, is it a collaborative effort or? We all got our own parts, don't we? Yeah. We do. It starts with a riff. And then a riff turns into. Why not even start with a riff? No. I for Silver Linings to start with. Oh, yeah. Credit. <laughs> <laughs> it started with a drum beat and you sending us a pattern on a MIDI keyboard, which is a basic sword. A vile, a vile yeah. MIDI yeah. little track. Yeah. And I'm so grateful that you guys saw it through. One day we'll release that file that you sent me. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, it was. Twice it was, as long. <laughs> yeah, it was hard to hear, but uh, yeah, it uh, started off with a. An idea that no actually. And then yeah, we all add our parts to it. I don't think very rarely is someone else written someone else's part. No, we don't. No. no. Yeah, we definitely kind of tell each other kind of what we're feeling is kind of going well. What's something we want to change a little bit of? We're quite good at giving each other constructive criticism. I was going to say, um, are you quite we, open? we try not to get yeah. offended. Try, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So we, we do have a play in each other's parts, but it's, we write them ourselves. Definitely. Don't get so <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the motto that. of the band. If you've got an idea, don't expect it to be the same one as someone <laughs> yeah, else it. The amount of riffs that I throw in, and then they go... <laughs> <laughs> cool. Love it. Yeah. How close to the original conception then is this EP, or is it completely? Ooh. Ooh, well, I think Haywire and DOA are almost exactly what they were they're before Kira yeah. came along. Yeah, because they're all they're, they're, <laughs> musically wise. They're all those two tracks are older than Kira in the band in terms of the band, not yeah. age. <laughs> yeah, Haywire was the song that kind of got me into the band. So whereas these guys have been sitting on it for years. No, it didn't even have a name. Sent to me without a name. Um, but to me, it's quite a new song. Whereas with these guys, it's a, a bit older. Um, whereas some of them are a lot newer. And just to put some context behind that for background, so you guys are actually a lockdown band, yeah. aren't you? You, you, you sort yeah, of the three, I think the three of you were together before Kira came in yeah. in 21. Yeah, yeah. We, we 
we were jamming with another group, and that was how we found Ben. And then for sort of probably what two years after that, we were playing together. Maybe even three. Yeah, maybe even three. Yeah, and then Ben was getting fed up with yeah. 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 Left up. yeah, he was getting fed up. Kira's yeah. so, yeah. the glue that made yeah. Bang I, I, back I together. <laughs> I don't say it, but yes. <laughs> and in terms of where we are now, 2022, what a year it's been for you guys. Not, I'm, I'm not going to blow smoke up your asses. We'll, we'll let you let yourselves do that. But what are the, what are some of the highlights for oh 2022 God. for you guys? Um, I'd say that. Since March, it's just been really random, exciting things that have just come our way. Yeah. Um, so literally in the car up here, you sit there and we're having all these discussions about what our next steps are, and then you think, wow, we won that little competition. That's got us signed yeah, in March. So got signed by Marshall Records in March, so that was amazing. Yeah. Also the day we found out that we won, we played with Chris Barris in yeah. the factory, that we won all of <laughs> 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 Oh, no, just it luck, great. yeah. It was, it was good luck, yeah. I think it, well, sometimes we need, to, we need to get to a point maybe it's not luck and maybe people actually do just like our music. No! <laughs> yeah. Well, people have been liking it so far, hopefully. Yeah, because like, the, the competitions that we've won, uh, they're not like luck of the draw. No, they're not like names out of a hat. Yeah. So you, I've seen some of the competition you've been up against yeah, we've as well, especially yeah. for to mm -hmm. play, up, say, going up there anyway, but obviously you guys played download as well on the Avalanche stage. Yeah, Some of the bands cool. that were within that, that, that could have come up against was... Mm -hmm. was we did quite a lot of them in the, the competition we were doing. So it, was, yeah. it was mental. We oh, we did we, we did so no, no, not yeah. at all. Uh, not at all. We were in the group just thinking, no chance. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> but not a chance. So that and was it's, amazing. It's exciting seeing their names come up as well. So if a band from The Deal or a band from Download or any of the names come out, it feels a bit more personal now, which is really nice when you're in the industry to have that slightly more personal connection with people. And the obvious question, how was it to play Download? Ah. <laughs> it was over so quickly. Yeah. But I think once we started playing, though, it wasn't that much different for us than any normal gig, apart from no. it was a bigger crowd yeah. and we had better energy. That's it, the stage was huge, and it, I mean, for you guys, it gave us so much room to... Yeah, you were locked yeah. in your seat. Yeah. <laughs> As per, but no, it was unbelievable, and the level of professionalism from all the other guys mm. was just, like, groundbreaking, it was so cool. It was just crazy that you played Band yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like spirit box. We're on the same stage today after us. Yeah. <laughs> the names just stayed. Yeah. Well. And we did just you, stayed you, a little bit longer as well. I was so going to say, did you stay for the rest of the festival? And you were yeah. kind of looking yeah. at the stage yeah. you played and you went, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 We, we, well, we played there on the Saturday, but we got there on the Friday, didn't we? And most of us left what Monday morning or something. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose the, uh, the the next obvious question is: You've built all of this momentum through 2022. How do you keep that going into 2023? Get your heads down. It's a question, yeah. yeah um, we down. we definitely want to keep doing what we're doing. Like our vibe as a band has always been to write music that is not quite. We don't want to say not the norm, but we take a lot of influences. We still want to go down that route, but just developing ourselves and our image more. Definitely something. The EP was definitely a way of showing what we can do and what we like to do. But just going forward, I think just writing more and kind of like maybe streamlining it a bit more. The general public get pretty bored of an EP within maybe six months and they want yeah. more already. They want more. And if the singles don't stay in the charts for any more than a few weeks, it's like. Do you think social media is to blame for that? Because there's this constant craving yeah, constant, for content. You constantly yeah. drift that new music all the time, so songs don't stay popular for very long. It's, it's hard to find the right algorithm as well. Facebook one day will be really well, and Instagram will lack, and then one day Instagram's right up, and Facebook's right down there, so it's like it's hard to know what to put out. Is that why, is it, uh, regardless of the music and regardless of everything, what you guys have got is a strong online presence and you've got yeah. strong branding as well. Yeah. Was that kind of important? Was that an early concept? That, you know, yeah. It's something that, like, the, you know, if you've seen us for the first time, that'll be your only connection with us until you see us live. So we want to make sure that it's, like, it's engaging and, you know, you get to see all aspects of what we're up to and, you know, just really... Nail Obviously wishing you all the very best and success for 2023 because 2022 has really sort of pushed you guys to, yeah. to another yeah. level. Why well, is the last can we, can we do better? I like think yes, we can. Yeah, well, of course we can. Yeah. Keep <laughs> raising that bar, keep but raising like we, that we, bar. We, well, obviously nothing's set in stone yet, so we need to 
put those footsteps down and say, right, this is what we're doing next year. Yeah. So we're going to end with uh, a little bit of the game that um, could well see the end of Animalia, to be oh, perfectly God. honest. So oh, is this the game that we've tried playing with each other? Oh, wait, 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 oh, oh, yeah, 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 Oh, I, what, what I did, did we, is that for camera, the game that you've been trying to play? No, we played a game with each other where we tried to pick a fault with each other. We've had a drink, say something nice, say yeah. something bad, and it just, we can never we, say something It's hard to see the bad right. thing. Well, just... one question, I'll, I'll go around, okay, yeah. you've got literally one second to answer, so spit out the first name of one of your bandmates that pops oh, into your no. head, okay? Right. Right. So we start, start with Max, so, most reliable? Kira. <laughs> Ben. Worst dressed. <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, by the way, you're not allowed to say so. <laughs> Max. Oh. You. Uh, most <laughs> most likely to get arrested. Max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have agreed anyway. Good. Uh, least least like the person you'd least like to be stuck in a lift with. <laughs> 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 Back around, laziest. Me. Oh, I can't see myself, can I? Who's <laughs> 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 lazy? Sarah. 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 Yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Uh, best at keeping a secret. Here, you're good. That's good. <laughs> Most intelligent. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> They're Getting intelligent hard. in different ways. Um. Ben? It's just pub, pub quiz knowledge. Pub quiz knowledge, <laughs> just <laughs> useless <laughs> background <laughs> knowledge. So, I'm useful. Last one. Biggest selfie whore. It's a really big shame you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Ben. Yeah. Okay. Go with ben. Guys, yeah. listen, thank you very much for your time. Thank Always you. a pleasure. Thank looking you. forward to catching you live and looking forward to what you come up with in 23 even more than Appreciate that. Appreciate it so much. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers man. Mate.